Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Wells here on behalf of Roadrunner Sports and we're here today to talk about common running injuries and how you can most effectively treat these injuries using the trigger point ball. When the vast majority of you describe what you're feeling, there's three common presentations. The first one is pinpoint pain, the second one is when you draw a line, and the third is just generalized pain. I want you to use your hand to point out exactly where you're feeling the pain or discomfort. Now what you do with your hand is exactly what you're gonna do with the ball, but as hard as you can tolerate it for at least 30 seconds. So now we're gonna get down on the floor and show you exactly what to do with the ball. Now if you localized your pain to a specific spot, you're gonna place the ball directly on that spot and press as hard as you can for at least 30 seconds. These can be found anywhere in the body, but the most common areas for runners are on the side of the knee where the IT band attaches, deep in the glute, and on the bottom of the heel where the plantar fascia attaches. Keep in mind, these spots can be found anywhere in the legs or hips, and the majority of the time will be found on the bone, so don't be afraid to press directly onto the bone. Most importantly with this technique, do not move or wiggle on the ball, or you can make it worse. Now if you localize your pain to a line, you're gonna place the ball just above or below the line and roll as hard as you can tolerate it. Again, these can be found anywhere, but the common areas for runners are on the side of the thigh for the IT band, along the glute, and on the bottom of the foot along the plantar fascia or arch. When treating a line, you don't need to roll back and forth across it, just stay on the line and don't forget to do it for at least 30 seconds. Finally, for generalized pain, place the ball on the painful area and roll back and forth, up and down, all around, covering the entire region. For all these three techniques, you want to use the hardest ball possible, which is why we're using this trigger point ball. A tennis ball is too soft and won't work as effectively. Granted, this is going to make the treatment more painful, but our goal is to get you back to pain-free running as quickly as possible. All right, we just finished up how to most effectively treat the three most common running injury presentations. After you do that, one of three things is gonna happen. You'll feel better, the pain will move, or it will change. If it's better, great. Keep doing this once or twice a day until it resolves. If the line or the spot moves, treat it again as you just did in the new spot. If it changes from a line to a spot or a spot to an area, treat it according to what we just described. If it doesn't feel any better, try to do it again with more pressure. And if it's worse, there may be something else going on. You may want to consult your doctor or therapist. Now, this doesn't replace your everyday maintenance of rolling out your legs for injury prevention and performance, which we'll address on how to do in a future video. If you have any questions about what we covered here today, please leave your question or comment below. Again, my name is Dr. Chad Wells. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.